Well, meanwhile, Gambia's new president, Adama Baro, has declared an end to the rule of fear. Speaking in the Senegalese capital of Dakar, Baro said Gambians have proved that indeed power belongs to the people. The Gambian leader has urged his citizens to return home and rebuild their lives. Baro was inaugurated on Thursday at Gambia's embassy in Senegal due to concerns for his safety. Still not clear when exactly he'll return to Gambia to take power. The rule of fear has been vanished from the Gambia for good. As you return home to rebuild your life, let us all remember that Gambia itself needs to be rebuilt. I am confident that all of you shall do your part in the reconstruction of our country. I wish to congratulate all of you and welcome you to the new Gambia. Over the past two decades, thousands of our citizens were forced into exile due to poor governance. Many of you here are victims of this oppressive system. Whether through denial of press freedom, abuse of human rights, and political intolerance, but you never give up on the Gambia. Well, let's bring you the very latest uh, on these uh, developments in the Gambia. I'm joined now from uh, uh, Senegal by CGTN's uh, Sonia Murthy. She's live for us in Fatik. And from Lagos, uh, Deji Badmos is uh, standing by. Sonia, let's start with you. Certainly a rather dramatic uh, 24 hours uh, in Gambia. We know, of course, that many people did not believe that this uh, peaceful transition would actually happen. We know now that uh, President Adama Barrow has appealed to Gambians who recently fled to go back home and show support to his new government. Do you see people heeding this call? Yes, Lindy. Indeed, it's still very confusing for a few people here. There are people who are actually crossing the border uh, towards Karang, going back to the Gambia. These are refugees who had been coming in since the state of emergency had been declared. There are actually some who are going back. However, I must say here in Dakar and also there uh, around the border areas, there are a few people who are still worried and suspicious. They do not believe it. A lot of them are saying they will only go back once they see the plane leaving, once they see Yaya Jame leaves. So there are a few people who believe it, a few people who don't. And we are learning now that actually Adama Baro will be leaving in the next 48 hours to go back to Gambia. Well, certainly, let's bring you in here now, Deji. Certainly, the seems, um, in as much as there is still some skepticism, it certainly is a success for ECOWAS in their ability to mediate uh, this uh, political impasse. At this point, though, do we know exactly what the details of the deal um, what it really entails as far as the deal with ECOWAS is concerned, um, when um, Jame will leave Gambia and exactly where he'll be heading. Well, thank you very much, Lindy. Uh, the, the good news for the people of the Gambia and uh, the people of Africa, especially West Africa, is that this has ended peacefully. Um, now, the details of the deal has not been disclosed. Um, the, the, the leaders, those who negotiated this deal now, are keeping it close to their chest. But of course, what we're gathering is that um, um, Yaya Jamel will uh, leave the country today, Saturday. Uh, we, we do not know the exact time. And that um, he will leave with Alpha Kondi, the president of uh, Guinea, and that uh, he is likely going to be spending um, you know, his time in exile now in Guinea. Um, but in terms of the deal, uh, the deal itself, we, we do not know. And we also understand that that deal is still being finalized with uh, Barrow because, you know, even though uh, uh, Jama is leaving the country, of course, uh, whatever deal is reached will have to, uh, you know, w would have to be signed by uh, the Barrow's group. And so we understand, uh, you know, that the, the f they are trying to finalize that details now. But there's no question at all that... Um, Jamel will definitely leave today, and um, every indication is that he is headed for um, Guinea, uh, and that, that, that's where he will be spending um, you know, his time. Indeed, and of course, uh, Sony, a big job ahead for President Barrow in instilling confidence in him and the people of his country, and of course, his government. Just talk us through the next steps as he attempts to finally uh, take presidency of the Gambia. 
Well, Lindy, as we speak, uh, President Adama Barrow is addressing the press back in Dakar. Uh, he is hopeful that uh, Yaya Jame will actually leave as planned. And as I mentioned earlier, his plans are to leave in the next 40, 48 hours to go back to the Gambia. He has already started setting up a few uh, government uh, officials to actually take over and uh, we just spoke to his spokes spokesman who actually told us that it's it's not very uh, it's not very strategic right now to speak about who will be doing what and where in terms of the ministers in terms of security but their plans they're actually on the drawing board trying to find out how to hand over the power, take over power from Yaya Jame. They're saying that currently the government is quite disorganized. It's not very well planned. But from tomorrow, there will be a clearer picture or clearer indication of how the government will be running. And Deji, as far as security is concerned, what about uh, the ECOWAS troops? Have they formally ended their mission uh, to the Gambia? Not at all, Lindy. Um, th the mission has not ended. Their mission was actually to restore democracy in the Gambia. Uh, President, uh, former President Jame has left, uh, is leaving now, has agreed to leave the country. Um, President Adam Abara will have to return to the Gambia. And as Sony has been saying, that he'll be returning in the next 48 hours. The fact is that he will need security. And so what we expect is that for those uh, ECOWAS troops now that have crossed into the Gambia, they are going to stay there because they'll be providing security for President Adam Abaro, at least for the next um, maybe few weeks or months, we, we cannot tell. Don't forget that um, the army of the Gambia is divided. Whether you like it or not, President, uh, former President Jame has still got his loyalists in the military. So um, President Adam Abaro, of course, will want to make sure he secures um, the loyalty, the complete loyalty of the military now. There's no question that he'll be making some changes. So uh, we don't expect ECOWAS uh, troops now to, 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 to just leave and end the mission. They're going to be around for a while. They're going to be there to provide security for him until things stabilize in the aspect of security now. When things stabilize and everyone is sure that uh, everything is okay and that uh, President Adam Abaro has uh, the absolute loyalty of the military of the Gambia behind him, that is when we might begin to see uh, ECOWAS now say uh, they're ending the, 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 the mission completely. But for now, I, I do not expect that to happen because President Adam Abaro still needs uh, the security that um, uh, these ECOWAS troops will be providing. Indeed. Well, thank you very much uh, for those updates. Deji Badmus live for us in Lagos. And of course, Senimuthu joining us there from Fatik in Senegal.